Morning everybody, it is Monday and you know what that means by now. Welcome along to episode number 91 of our F1 Manager 22 career mode with Team Alpine. It is time for the Brazilian Grand Prix and it is a Brazilian Grand Prix where we could potentially become Constructors' Championships. Champions even. All we gotta do is outscore... Well, just do our thing basically. <laughs> Red Bull a second, then uh, Ferrari, Mercedes, Alfa Romeo, McLaren, Alfa Tauri, Williams, Haas and Aston Martin. In the Drivers' Championship, George Russell, if you missed the lot on Friday. F1 World Champion. Ahead of Max Verstappen, Charles Leclerc, Pierre Gasly, Carlos Sainz, Esteban Ocon, Sergio Perez, Lando Norris, Valtteri Bottas and Daniel Ricciardo, your top 10. And what a result it was for Alpine in the last round to become Drivers' World Champion for George Russell. Ultimate ladies man, Kingsland's number one driver, and F1 World Champion 2025. You heard it here first, if it happens. We'll go take practice with the boys, and then we'll see you on the other side of this qualifying then, ladies and gentlemen. All right, then, on to Q1. And it was another very good session that uh, we Already had. Okay. Um, okay. Fast again around uh, this circuit, but, you know, that doesn't always translate, uh, does it? It doesn't always uh, come to fruition. But now that George is the world champion, I hope that he doesn't take his foot off the pedal. I'm hoping that he'll uh, come out and he'll uh, he'll attempt to do some uh, attempt to do some damage. But you you just never know with uh, with George what uh, what he's planning because he literally could uh, he could do anything now. He might even go through a uh, thingy, um, a Pierre Gasly phase. I hope he doesn't. Now that I've probably uh, said that, I've probably jinxed him, haven't I? <laughs> Shut up, commentator. You don't know who you are. <laughs> right then. It's very close. Uh, Magnussen. Wow. Magnussen fastest at the moment. Those Alfa Romeos have uh, come to play. Those alphas have come to play. It's a straight out. They have come to play indeed. And uh, where we go, boys? Where do we go from here? We go. Well, there's Gasly and P. Oh, P2, P5. That's fine. Pete, I was wondering where George was there. I couldn't see uh, George for the life of me, but he's P2, P5. Kevin Magnuson is fastest. With Daniel. That alpha's got pace. I think we're going to be trying to beat that Alpha today. Because uh, that Alpha, both of them are up there in uh, P1 and P3. Magnussen and Ricardo. So, yeah. Interested to see how that works out for us uh, going forward. Very uh, interesting indeed. But, uh, yeah. Alright, we didn't expect that, but let's get on to, uh, let's get on to Q2 then. Alright, then on to Q2. Maybe Rain on the day. way, maybe. Rain on the way. You never know. You never know in Brazil. We are between lakes. <coughs> Hence is why it's called Interlagos. Between the lakes. Although I don't know where the lakes are in, in accordance. I think one's down towards the Sabina de Lago. And I'm not sure where the third one is. Sorry, the second one, I should say. I have to find that out on the, uh, on the map. Let's get Google Map open. Let's get the old Google map open. Into Lagos. Not into Larkin. Although that would be a nice place I want to visit. Uh, let's have a look. So, uh, well, it isn't, it isn't actually between, well, it is between lakes. But I think it's more the bigger lakes because they're uh, on either side of the circuit. You've got, um, yeah, they got two big, massive uh, lakes either side of uh, either side of the circuit. I've just said I didn't expect that. I expected to be two little bitty ponds, uh, but nope, it's two big, massive lakes. P1, P2. That's what. I was, there you go. That's putting your foot right back where uh, it belongs. Those alphas uh, disappeared very quickly. Now, from that session, we lost Sergeant Albert Vettel. 
uh, Stroll and Bottas. But from Q1, I forgot to mention who we lost from Q1. But it's Schumacher, Latifi, Joe Venazzi, Joe and Sonoda. So, now that you're all caught up and all up to date. Yay, all up to date. Let's go on to Q3, ladies and gentlemen. Check. Okay, on to Q3, and there is rain on the way, so we better get out there, and we better get out there. They're pretty... Oh, it's rain's here now! Oh, okay, the rain's here now. Right, we want to get out there very quickly, then, when uh, we have the best conditions, I think, because it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse the further into the session we go. So, yeah. Yeah, it's going to get better, but then it's going to get worse. So, I say we need to go out now. Guys, we need to go, and we need to go now. Send out uh, Pierre. Send out George. If we get out there now, we can perhaps uh, spring a little bit uh, of, su of a surprise on uh, everybody. Don't come out. No other. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Norris has come out the pits. But uh, on board with Gasly through the center S, which goes downhill, then through the uh, Curva del Sol, an absolute treacherous corner in the wet, because there's a big uh, river that goes uh, right across it, down the hill to the Sabina de Lago. Throw it in and hope it sticks. Oh, it just about sticks. Then through that little kink, on the way up to Ferradura, and there comes that car in the way. Get out the way, man! said everybody at that uh, oh god yeah god stick it in there pierre good man through the beak of the plateau as we go on board with uh, george russell thank you very much video for uh, saying that he's through the beak of the plateau does that uh, car get in our way i don't it was a mclaren wasn't it, it was norris <laughs> thanks norris through the Monero corner, we got on board with, um, back with Pierre through John Chow on the run up the hill in the wet. These two kings are absolutely treacherous. And I mean treacherous. This should be fastest. Well, it will be fastest, won't it? There you go, at 11.6. George, what's George going to do? He's gone purple, purple, deep purple, perfect strangers. He's gone 11.1. Wow. That's slapping it down on the table. At slapping it down, that should be pole position for George Russell. All in a good day's work, uh, I would uh, say there. All in an absolute good day's work, and now the track is wet. Um, we'll go no, because I think we're fine. So I don't expect to see... Well, they're all coming out, but I didn't uh, expect them to come out, unfortunately. I really didn't expect them to come out, but uh, come out they have. And uh, there'll be no improvement. Gasly's P5. George is on pole. All in all, good day. And uh, he was on pole by quite a margin as well. Three, uh, three and a half tenths. That, uh, that just shows that, wow, for Stappen down in P10. Get in the mud. Make it easy for us, why don't you? Hello, welcome to Rockstar ASMR. <laughs> All right, then on to the strategy for the race. 96% confidence for both drivers. It is going to be a dry race, which we love to see. It's also going to be a two-stop as well, because that's uh, practically a guarantee. But which two-stop, in fact, it's going to be uh, medium, medium hard for us. Which is absolutely fine. Can we do medium, medium? No, we can't do medium, medium, soft. That dispels that rumour straight away. Because uh, who doesn't like a good rumour dispenser? I know uh, I like uh, a good rumour dispensing uh, every now and again. Let me just uh, finish typing that. There we go. Got to give the members of uh, my vlog channel their credit. <laughs> <clears throat> but let's see does no that doesn't work does it <laughs> George as much as I know you're an absolute legend Ian even you are not gonna make that work yeah not even close not even close there George come on come join us on the two stop come join us on the mediums that's uh that's the strategy for you mate that's the strategy you're uh, going to pull off uh, very nicely. 
and that is completely the wrong one there Ian so you want to go uh, with that one so uh, yeah we can become constructors champions today if it all works out for us and I hope it does work out for us let's uh, go get it have a good race lads you're free to race let's bring home the dub have now taken position on the grid and it's looking like a cloudy day and here we've got George Russell they're in pole position and they've got to be happy about that and here's the second Alpine they're in the front half of the pack so there's plenty of potential for them and we're just moments away now Who will win? Only time will tell. Here at the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go. Mm, very nice. Just had a nice sandwich. Just had a nice uh, lunch. Now we can get the next uh, four done. And then if we can get these done, I'll be able to uh, record ooh-ah a little bit more, which uh, we know we uh, do like uh, to do on this channel. We just can't stop recording. Save our life. Um, yep, yeah, Norris uh, is past Russell. That's absolutely fine with me. George Russell, the uh, the season four champion. Things you absolutely adore seeing, love seeing, everything else in between as well. I have no idea where uh, that clip went as well. I'll have to uh, double check. Maybe I'll put it on the memory pen. Who knows? We've got a yellow in sector two. What's going on uh, here? Somebody has spun. Yellow, yellow. It's Vettel that's uh, spun. Taking a look again. At the top of uh, Ferradura. Oh, yep, that, dear, oh, that seems dear. to be uh, about right uh, for Sebastian Vettel. That, uh, that Alpha Tauri not uh, doing him uh, any favours. Nice attempt, you'll get him next time. Yeah, you better get him next time. I don't want it. We can win the Constructors' Championship today if uh, people knuckle down and get on with it. Okay, Gasly's overtaken the Leclerc. He's obviously now listened to this. me. It's oh, it's gonna be wow, it's going to be in the beak of the plateau. That was a late one. Hello there. That was a late one. And we appreciate that uh, from you there, sir. Just incredible maneuvering. We absolutely appreciate that move. Yeah, cheer that move. Everybody get on and cheer that move. That was a great move. Even uh, I took time to appreciate that one as we come out the centre S. Okay, lap uh, four stroll has binned it in uh, the centre S. And he's binned it in a good way. Yeah, we'll be seeing you there, son. Mind you, it is Hollywoodland stroll. And the team Does anyone particularly the really care? What a shame. <laughs> Any Stroll fans out there? I didn't think so. Like okay, lap spin. six. Sergeant has Let's now been... Is it the same replay. corner? So this was the yeah, Aston same Martin. corner. The Aston Martin struggling. We'll be seeing you too. And yes, that's where they spin out. We'll be seeing you. We'll be seeing you soon. We'll be seeing you. We'll be seeing, we'll be seeing you soon. They'll be questioning just what Ooh, have I got a there? spot on my back that I don't need? Got Russell uh, overtaking Norris. Now let's look at this. Here's George Russell. Oh yeah. Oh, don't you just hate that? And it's right in my kidney area as well, so if you squeeze it, it hurts just as much. Oh. Don't you just find that? That's really annoying. Oh, Gasly's got minor underfloor damage. What's Gasly done? Well, Pierre, what, what, what's going on there, Pierre? Magnussen's overtaking Gasly. Let's have a look. Now let's watch this. The Alfa Romeo involved in this one. Oh, Gasly's gone wide. Goodness oh, where did that come go. from? You're so dumb. Moving ahead of the other driver. Gasly! Uh. And that was a bit yeah, where on earth did uh, did that one and come from? Really hurt their overall that one uh, literally came right out of nowhere. 
Okay, Norris position. has overtaken Russell. This? We're looking at Lando Norris. Good move out of the uh, Curva del Sol down to Sabina Del Largo. Gaining a position there. Oh, they make it look so easy. It's a good move uh, from Lando Norris. He's uh, definitely putting in uh, an argument to uh, move up some two uh, some teams uh, for season five. Outforming that McLaren. That's a good okay, Russell's now back past uh, Lando. Okay, so there we have the LP. Yeah, easy DRS down the uh, to the Sabina de Largo. The late descent, as uh, it's translated to. Which moves them up a position? And good move, George Russell back into the lead of this Grand Prix. That was a big moment. The team are clearly delighted. That is uh, what we like to talk about. Oh, okay, Magnus. Oh, Magnuson was in uh, P4. And yep. Yeah. Oh, they, oh my spin. God, he's almost hit Gasly. I like it. Oh, we've had a spin. Here's the he almost hit Gasly. Who was that uh, that spinned it here? Oh, is it going to be uh, Latifi? Yeah. This, yes, this is where we thought it was uh, Latifi. Like okay, Magnuson again. Let's take a closer look. Now let's watch this. The Alfa Romeo involved in this one. Oh, they've lost it. They've locked up. Oh, Magnussen's just had uh, an absolute mare of a race oh, the team are really disappointed in these last few that. laps. Let's hope it doesn't set them back too bad. Yeah, I'm going to get a picture of that. Doesn't feel good. Red Bull okay, the Leclerc race. overtakes let's Gasly. Take a look at the replay. Watch this. There's Leclerc. That's a good move into the um, top of Ferradura. We uh, we definitely appreciate uh, that. He's uh, definitely trying to keep Red Bull's hopes of uh, the Constructors' Championship alive. I don't quite think it's going to happen, though, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, lap 17, Gasly and uh, Leclerc are exchanging pleasantries again down the Sabina de Largo. That Mercedes may get interesting, make it free wide down uh, here. He is going to get free wide. Oh, he's on the grass too. Is uh, was that Bottas or Perez? I have a clue. It uh, it was just a car that looked silver. <laughs> I say it's just a car that looks silver. It uh, genuinely was because it's Mercedes, isn't it? Okay, Norris has overtaken uh, Russell. We saw that uh, going off as uh, yeah down the Sabina de Largo again. You got that Alfa Ricardo lurking there as well. This is a free one. Oh, he's going around the outside. He's Danny Ricciardo. He thought about it. And they clear it. Cheeky little uh, grin. And a race You've also got three different engine manufacturers up there. You've got the McLaren Mercedes, the uh, Alpine, which is a Renault, and Alfa Romeo used the Ferraris. See who uh, wins that power battle. Russell let's overtakes Norris again. This is, this is uh, this. Here's George Russell. what I'm talking about. It, it's Lando... These last couple of races, he's putting in uh, a bit of a performance. It's almost like he's uh, trying to say something. To be fair, he is one of the drivers I've got my eye on. Is uh, Cheeky Lando. His contract is up at the end of the season as well. Interesting to keep hold of. Okay, Norris overtakes Russell again. I think we're coming into the... Uh, excuse me, into the pit stop window. around the outside here comes Ricardo again that Aussie just position? won't go away will he can you imagine an Alpine T with Norris and Russell in we'd have all the ladies uh, around our team turn into the ultimate sex symbols okay Gasly overtakes Bottas you got Leclerc and Perez lurking in the background around the outside of the center S that is a great move, Pierre Gasly. Pierre Gasly finally waking up. Which is what we like to see. Every now and then. Ricardo now overtakes Ron. Ricardo is now joining the party. Because I think Norris has pitted. I do think Norris has, uh, has pitted. Going to be a big blow to the team. Will they if be Norris is pitted, recover? he's gone for a we'll little see. cheeky undercut. Uh, there is a uh, cheeky Lando. Okay, it's uh, Gasly's uh, pit stop now. Is he's in? Giovinazzi is locked up into uh, 
it the Sabina the Delago. It's a lock up. Straight on you go. And he's gonna hold it there for a little bit. I like to say we care, Gasly. Uh, Giova Alec almost called you Gasly. <laughs> <laughs> when you don't know your own drivers, you know uh, you're in trouble, don't you? Oh, I don't know, what am I talking about? Right, there goes Gasly. Yeah, we're going to get um, George pushing hard on this lap. He's going to come out. Where's Gasly going to come out? There's Sainz. If he comes out in front of Perez, oh, it might be close with uh, Perez. Now there's Sainz, he's going to come out behind Sainz, that's good. That is very good. So he's come out in front of Perez and Bottas. And he was racing the Claire as well, which, uh, yeah, I can uh, I can definitely appreciate uh, there. Oh, nice, uh, nice photo there. Coming through uh, the Monero corner, through John Chow, and now up the hill. And we'll get ultimate ladies man George Russell in this lap. I say ultimate ladies man, he's also uh, Kingsley's number one driver and uh, world champion. Have I mentioned that he's a world uh, champion? I don't think I've quite mentioned it this um, this stream, so uh, I think uh, I should mention that George Russell is this season's world champion. Medium's on, off he goes. Now where's he going to come out in accordance to Lando? Lando's just going through the center S now. So I think Lando's going to have a little bit of breathing room. Yeah, there's... Uh, who's that? That's Ricardo. So he's actually lost out a bit there for uh, George. Yeah, somebody got uh, that one wrong, didn't they? Right, oh, virtual safety car is out, okay. Uh, yeah, let me guess, it's Gasly, isn't it? Crash involving multiple cars. Or is it the Red Bull? Or is it the... Oh, it's not the... Oh, my, it was almost a Red Bull. Oh, I imagine... Uh, I imagine Karen Horner is uh, got a bit of a medical condition right now. Liquid air. And uh, no one would blame him uh, after seeing that. <laughs> uh, we've got a crash involving multiple cars. It's just a yellow at the moment. Let's see who it is. It's uh, multiple cars again. It's going to be the Haas. It's going to be Joe. And who's the Haas car? Uh, maybe Latifi. <laughs> Would it not surprise you if it's Latifi? No, it's the no no. I do apologise that uh, did that, then. but uh, we got uh, George, George going Russell. past Ricardo. Easy as you like, Daddy, inside of Sabina Delargo. Easy as you like. And there they go, moving up a position. Just Excuse me. That might have been a good sandwich, but it uh, does bring out the hiccups in me. Only slight that. hiccups, though. Only slightly. <laughs> okay, Perez. Oh, Perez is uh, run wise. That's uh, so whoop, 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 whoop. I like it. They go wide, yeah, right and we'll the be uh, definitely seeing you uh, probably in the spirit realm somewhere there, Sergio. Easily the fastest there, but can't provide. Vettel is now run line. wide. Taking a look again, it involves Sebastian Vettel. They've gone wide. They won't be the same corner that. again. What's going on with that corner uh, now, is there? Oh, Russell's fastest lap. Albon's locked up. Center S. Oop, goes straight oh, on. That's not lucky for Albon. He was having a, a pretty good race uh, right about then. Looks like there's been and we've got Latifi locking up. Uh, where's he locked up? Now, uh, look. Going into Yun Chow. Oh, the he should get uh, back the on the track after that one. Did spin out oh, this is big! Oh, this is big in the uh, freeway fight for the lead, and Ricardo has dumped it. I like it. That's unfortunate for Rick Bobby the Honey Badger. I think there's been a lockup. Latifi again. Now let's look. We're watching Nicholas Latifi. 
Yeah, and give it up, Latifi. You're not there. good. That's the <laughs> You're not good, Latifi. And the team had such high hopes. Today. Hass must be wondering what, what, uh, what they did. Uh... Oh, and Ferrari just gained a place. To uh, okay, deserve that. As we've got uh, Carl, is that Carl Sainz passing uh, Pierre Gasly? I think it is. Oh, he almost forced Gasly out uh, wide there. Goodness me, there they go, moving ahead of the other driver. The team are devastated. They'll be questioning just what happened out there. Oh, dear me. Just had a spin. Dear Let's me. Take a look at the replay. E now, everything the uh, just seems here. to be going uh, wrong at the moment. Oh, we'll be seeing you too. <laughs> look at that. They've spun their car. I, 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 yeah. I know who you are. Bitter blow for the team. <laughs> I think I do anyway. Their overall chances. Well, I should know. Got a yellow out there. Uh, what's cracking off as George is out? Got a yeah, 1.5 second lead as Gasly overtakes Sainz. Look at this, it's Pierre Gasly. Ooh. Oh my god, oh, Joe's oh, still there chilling. Okay, got a yellow in sector one. The Claire has run wide. Uh oh. Uh oh. I like it. Well, that might be the end of the Red Bull Challenge right there. I hope it's the end of the uh, Red Bull Challenge. Make life a lot easier. Oh, he's really, he's really had a bad one. Oh, Leclerc. I like it. Leclerc, mate. Let's take a closer he just can't uh, catch a break at the Tauri moment. As uh, we got an Alpha Tauri. Oh, it's just been clipped. And there's the crash. Sent off into the Shadow Realm. Okay, Magnuson has now binned now. it in turn one. On Remember when that Magnuson Alpha was good? Let me just send this uh, comment. A definite collision there. That's very unfortunate. Right, uh, we're going to do the pit stop here with George. Yeah, let's get uh, George in the pit box. No, Gasly uh, yes, first. And then uh, we'll get uh, George in the box. Who's this in the pit? Is it Vettel? I think it's Vettel because uh, Giovinazzi's uh, still out there. Let me just set the computer and send this. Uh... There we go. I'll send uh, this comment as well quickly. It's so Gasly's gonna come out P7. Now here we see Max as oh no, Just oh my, the, the Red Bulls are capitulating. They're capitulating. What is going on? It, are you trying to give us this championship? Lift off, please. Copy. There we go. That's uh, that's that done right. Russell in. Russell out, so we're going to get in front of the, the two Ferraris have carried on. Where's he going to come out in accordance to Norris? I'll tell you what, he might be pretty close to the lead here. There go, who's that gone through? I'm not sure who that, oh there's uh, Norris and Perez right there, so it's going to come out as a three-way fight for the lead between Norris, Perez and uh, <laughs> Russell. And where the hell has uh, Sergio Perez come from? That's Someone answer me that question. I think Russell's overtaken let's Perez now. Because he needed now to get past him. Because Lando's off down Russell. the road. 
In fact, Sergio may not have pitted yet. <coughs> Gaining a position there. Lando's got uh, problems so of easy. his own now in the form of that Williams. If it wouldn't mind doing us a little favour. Okay, Ricardo's run now wide. Remember when Ricardo was up here fighting? Here. Me. Ricardo remembers. Off the racing line. I've got an itch where I don't need an itch in my ear hole. <laughs> okay, Gi Givenazzi's uh, locked up. We got now. yellow out there. Look at this. It was the Alpha oh, what we see? Wow, he's uh, he's not off to um he's off to uh, somewhere else. I think he's not uh, off to Sao Paulo. I think he's off to Argentina. To Don't cry to for me, we'll Argentina. See. Said nobody ever. We got he still got the yellow in sector one. Russell's overtaken Norris. Ocon is not. Yeah, Ocon's pitting now, so Ocon will crash. sacrifice Let's the lead. Joe's now were uh, crashed. Now we see the if this was in front. Here. Oh, this might have been the, the Williams in front of Gasly. Oh, I say that was a bit of whack. With his uh, Duracell battery uh, on top of him. Okay, lap 53, Ricardo's overtaken Gasly. Remember, Gasly's carrying that floor here. damage. From uh, running wide in Ferradura earlier in uh, earlier in this race, so we need to uh, we need to keep an eye on that. The team are really disappointed. But it's fine, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Okay, got another yellow in sector one as Gasly uh, passes Ricardo out there. Look at that side by side through Curva del Sol down the run to Sabina de Lago. And that is going to be P... Uh, what is Gasly in there? Is it P4? I'm, I'm going to crunch some numbers here, but I think that's going to be enough for the Constructors' Championship. Because we've got to get 86 points ahead of Red Bull. And we were sort of like... I uh, don't know what we were like. We're going to get the yellow flag out there. Schumacher's uh, binned it. So George is leading. It's going to be uh, Schumacher into the uh, first corner of the Senna S. And that is the end of his race, I would imagine. Well, I think it's the end of his race. Okay, Gasly's P4, Ricardo's overtaken Gasly. What the fuck is that? What is going on here? What the? What is that? There they go, moving ahead of the other driver. Somebody tell me what that was. Today. What a shame. Who's running wide there? Let's uh, take I, a look I, at the replay. So this I don't even Aston know Martin. what uh, that was as the uh, Aston Martin wide, runs wide again. No one cares, mate. No one cares. Oh, the dodge! Uh, well, he's in P2. P2 and P5, we'll Russell's locked now. up. Now let's look at this. Here's George Russell. <sighs> you got to be joking me. Could have been much worse. We're not going to talk about it. <laughs> We're not going to talk about it. Just what happened out there? He's trying to throw away the lead here. Can he make up? Six seconds back to Norris in ten laps, eleven laps. I think he actually could, you know. Oh no, not Gasly. Oh, you. Here's the replay. I'm done with Gasly. I am. I'm. I'm just. Done with him. And that was a bitter blow Somebody for the right now timestamp it, it in the really comments and yell it for me because I, I can't be bothered to even yell his name anymore. Oh, come on! I mean, you've got to be. There's been a crash. Let's take Why a do I bother? There's a. Uh, who is that? Is that uh, Stroll? Oh my god, that was a crash and Stroll just walked off. He's like, <laughs> yeah, see you later. I am invincible. 
He's like, uh, yeah, never mind. Will they be able to recover? We'll see. <laughs> he was like, uh, yeah, see you later there, uh, punk. It's got a crash involved with multiple cars. Yeah, that's what we just saw. Can we see that again? So yeah, here comes the Aston Martin. He gives him the old uh, knee jab and the stroll's just like, yeah, no, nah, you're right. <laughs> we'll be seeing you. We'll be seeing you. The team are really disappointed. That's, uh, that's exactly what he Let's was thinking uh, at that precise now. moment. Even the Williams guys can't believe Stroll did that. Okay, George sets the fastest lap of the Grand Prix. Now we're talking. He's actually caught up to uh, Lando Let's Norris. He made up those six so seconds. That's what we're talking George about. Russell. George Russell, in his day, is, oh, I would say, goat tier. I, I would say we're getting into uh, that Which stage of goatness now with... Uh, Back in the garage, the team absolutely loved with it. Georgie Boy. No reply, I've got a typecast. Changes to member. What's going That's on right. here? Changes to member credit top up amount of business plan. Hi, this is typecast. I'm not part of typecast. Huh? Oh, that's going in the bin. Okay, we need some deploy. That's going right yeah. in the bin. It can uh, it can stay there as well. I don't know what uh, that's all about. Honestly, uh, I, don't, I know what this is uh, all about because George, our mate George, just got past that Aston Martin and that Aston Martin's held up that McLaren and that's big. So we don't even have to worry about that McLaren now going up the hill, but it looks like Ocon's going to finish P3. Can you imagine Ocon's doing much better than uh, Gasly is, can, if you can believe it, but George Russell up the hill. Victory number 10, I think, is about to be attained here as uh, we look at uh, Pierre Gasly. We're, I don't know why little, we're looking at Gasly, but uh, this, we should be looking at George. There goes George. He's over the line okay. now. George Russell wins. Absolutely, he wins the, uh, over the line. Let's take Brazilian the Grand Prix. Let's have a look at it then, the shall we? George Russell. Ultimate ladies man, Kingsley's number one driver and for the one world champion for this season. That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! <laughs> Don't know if I mentioned that uh, yet at all or not. I'm pretty sure I didn't mention it. A lot. A bit. Gasly's going to come home P7. I think that's the Constructors' Championship then, because what we got? 25, you get 6, so 31, they're only picking up uh, 5, 26 points. I think that's going to give us a Constructors' Championship, folks. I just need to run the numbers very, very quickly, though. And here today, George Russell making British motorsport proud. This podium is a remarkable achievement for the whole team. And right now, it's the British driver who proudly takes his place on the podium. You've got to say it was a solid drive from all three of them up there. A fantastic showcase for Formula One. I imagine everyone at Alpine will be very satisfied with their performance today. This was an extremely convincing race for them. They're one impressive team, and they deserve to celebrate this properly. After an intense weekend, the team ends in first place in the constructor standings. Formula One has almost reached its conclusion this year. Meet us next time in Abu Dhabi, between the desert and the sea, for an enthralling finale. 
yeah, I'm still processing the numbers. So 31 points for us. It's only five points for them. So 26 points difference. Bottas got the fastest lap of the Grand Prix. We get the point back for that next season. You know we're going to be uh, fighting for that. Uh, so Lando P2, Ricardo P5. Magnussen recovered well. Let's have a look. So yeah, George is still uh, champion over there. So that's good. Gasly up to P3. Let's see if we can get Gasly past uh, Verstappen. Not likely to happen, but uh, you never know with uh, Pierre Gasly. And the difference is 77 points. So we haven't quite won it. If my maths is right. Yeah, 43 times 2 is uh, 86. So yeah. No, 43 points left. So they, they can't win it. So we've won. <laughs> We've won! Oh, my maths let us down uh, just a little bit there. Ah, how sweet it is. How sweet it is. Alpine, not just do we have the Drivers' Championship, we've got the Constructors as well. When I started this career, I thought... You know, it'll take about five, six seasons. I also thought it would probably be either Alonso or Ocon. Never in my life did I think it'd be George Russell. That would be just absolutely killing it out there. And I mean killing it. Everyone's got a development point, and uh, quite right, they uh, deserve that development point. Let's uh, get that on Oscar's uh, stat. No one has a development point over here. Sad. <laughs> Can we scout people? I'd like um, to scout some uh, drivers if, uh, if it's possible. Because uh, he doesn't know it yet, but Gasly's uh, fired. <laughs> so many. Alright, let's have a look. Uh, Hugh Bird. Yeah, we don't want him. He's Lando's engineer at the moment, isn't he? Who is, Lan who is Lando's uh, engineer in real life? Is it Javier? It might be Javier. I'm not uh, too sure. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. We'll be back tomorrow with the Season 4 finale from Abu Dhabi. And yeah, we're off to celebrate. So uh, take care. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, I'm lost for words right now.